Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. It is Be Well Wednesday, and we are in the studio with James Patrick, the fitness guru. And obviously, we just had our uh, Lysandra Wack on talking about yeah. vegan Thanksgiving meals and how we can keep it healthy. So but whether you're eating vegan, whether you're eating that real turkey. Whether you're eating shit, Lens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, but however you should get down on yeah. Thanksgiving, we still need to to burn it all off, right? You need to you need to be able to be moving the entirety of, of the day, and I'm sorry. Oh, I, that's the plan. That's okay. the plan, <laughs> and we often celebrate Thanksgiving with the day of just rest and mm -hmm. you know, relaxation and overindulgence. Unless you're James Patrick. Well, you know, I have my moments. <laughs> yes. Um, I spread my indulgence out through the years. So yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? Yes. Because why? So, yes. But it's so important to continue moving. A, you want to make sure that your gastrointestinal system isn't too, you know, mm. backed up which can happen oftentimes, yeah. especially when you're taking in a lot of starchy carbs, mm -hmm. um, a lot of sugars. So, hey, when you're waking up in the morning, hydrate. Get the water in. Oh. Get that water in. Okay. You, need, you need at least, let's get at least 15 to 20 ounces of good water. Start your day off with, with a walk. Give yourself mm -hmm. a minimum 30 minutes to just go out and walk. And not for the sake of exercise, not just for exercise, also for just mental preparation. And clarity for all those family members all coming over. All those family over. members. <laughs> Because <laughs> Keisha and them, you don't yes. want to see them. You're trying to get your mind. So it's great for mental health. Yeah. Walking is great before you uh, before you begin your, your meal. Mm -hmm. um, it helps the food digest quicker. Oh, and, yeah, actually, wow, yes. okay. So it prepares your nervous system, not only for the day, but also for the meal. So continue moving, stretching. Uh, and doing different things. Doing so different after things. you eat, what are some great workouts that you can jump into. Well, this is a hard sell, right? Okay. Because I'm essentially telling everybody to eat and then go, go work out. <laughs> yes. So yes. It, one thing you really want to consider, Billie Jean, is mm -hmm. doing something with the family. So if you guys are all at home, mm -hmm. let's it, let's all go out and take a walk. Let's okay. all get out the house. Let's go around the block twice. We can talk. We can catch up, and we can commute with each other while we while we continue our walk. So mm -hmm. after after you finish moving, after you finish um, eating, just get get up, make it simple. Don't don't complicate it. Mm -hmm. Take yourself on a five to ten minute walk. Okay. And yeah. there, are there any uh, exercises you can do maybe in your living room? Absolutely. Okay. So we know that multifunctional exercises are our friend, and when we say multifunctional, we're uh -huh. talking about. Our lunges, yeah, we're right? talking about a wide lunges. We're talking about moves that use arms and legs. Four limb movements that are really good for um, also helping you digest your food, mm -hmm. um, keeping your blood flow, keeping that increase in your circulation, and also keeping that serotonin going. Yeah, you so know? after your lunges, what can you add on to this So workout? another move that we can do is going into a heel tap. Okay, I'm gonna get it, I'm coordinated. Yeah, listen, there we you, go. no, she can dance, she's coordinated, <laughs> don't let her fool you. Oh my goodness. So this is a great, these two moves are really good to do in between mm -hmm. uh, commercial breaks oh, for good. Soda City, which you'll be watching oh, yeah. when you are <laughs> on, your, <laughs> yes. on your Thanksgiving sabbatical. Yes. James so, put me on the spot here, like you better work out. You better work out. Oh. So another one is just to simply sway those hips, get into a, a stationary job. So if I'm walking around the house like this for Thanksgiving, please don't be exercising and we didn't have to much yes. of the rum punch. And I probably <laughs> might have had a little bit too much, but I'm still going to work You're out. You're still going to work out. This is so good, James. Um, I feel like when I do this, it makes me want to do a jumping jack. It is makes you want to get physical. And so you add on to the movement. Okay. And that's how we create our own movement. Yes. And, and, it, and it gives you something to engage in because you can co-identify with it. You created that movement. Now, I do have to ask this because I know I like to stuff myself. Mm -hmm. So in order to not feel sick or queasy, should yeah. you wait a little bit after dinner? before moving into your workouts? So, hey, let's talk about feeling a little over and a uh, little stuff. Yeah. Feeling a little turkeyish after you overindulge. But you should not eat until you're stuffed, So, right? yeah, that's number one. Mm. Making sure you, uh, if you have your adequate water, you're going to know, your body's going to tell you, you're going to get those um, those sensories, mm. hey, I'm full or I am satisfied. Yeah. Uh, but if you're if you're uh, eating and you're overindulging, it, it can get a little complicated, especially mm. in the tummy area. Separate your meals and also separate the uh, the portion size. You don't need to eat everything in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, wow. You have the entire afternoon to do yeah. so. And you don't need to go straight into your workout after you eat. If you want to rest a little bit, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Well, Listen James to your Patrick, body. the fitness guru, always dropping gems for us here on Soda City Live, telling us how we can stay fit after our Thanksgiving meal. And